Let's talk about modern classics, especially Triumph. You see, they've been making blast from the past motorcycles for longer than I've been alive for. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because when it comes to retro Triumphs, the business is always booming. Today we're going to take that global money maker, which is the Triumph Street Twin. We're going to put it to the test and show you why this is the best selling modern classic Triumph worldwide. Upon riding the street twin, there's an immediate congenial relationship that forms as if you've been reunited with an old friend of yours and when you spend some time together you realize that the flame has never died. The 900cc liquid cooled parallel twin engine delivers steady usable power across its 5 gears with plenty of torque in the low to mid range and a long stretching fifth. Although vibrations can be felt in the pegs, when the digital tack hits 5500 rpm that feeling does not make its way onto the rubber mounted handlebars. The trans gearbox and the wet multi-plate assist clutch are velvety during gear changes. They're quick, effortless and precise. Pair that with the modern technology of ride-by-wire and you've got a ride which is controlled, engaging and comfortable. Thanks to its inherently torquey engine with a measured torque of 55.6 pound-feet at 3700 rpm, the street twin is just as happy to keep the pace with city traffic as it is to leave the stoplights behind and hit the twisties. Like any friendship however, things can get a little heated. After riding for about 40 minutes, the engine heat will toast your right shin. To all of you saying that the GT650 twins are making bikes like these, the Triumph Street Twin obsolete because of its monumental price tag, really need to do one thing, which is ride a bike like this. Try to understand the craftsmanship and the difference in gear. The Bonneville 900cc HT motor is somewhat like an upscale version of the 650cc motor that you get in the GT Twins. But that is not the case. This engine is so much more characterful. You've got pops and bangs and crackles all the way around and the engine just feels more lively and that is one thing that you do not get in the Royal Enfields. The Street Twin doesn't look something insanely wild or something so radical that everyone turns around to take a look at it. Rather, it has a very subtle yet elegant look. People who know what it is will come and ask you more about it. The new breed of budget cruisers like the new CB350, Interceptor, Imperiale 400 etc. all take inspiration from this and the Bonnevilles. The stainless steel accents, simple round headlight and simple tail light, the toned yet muscular tank give off a little what it is, but again, it is very subtle in nature. With a price tag of 9.4 lakh rupees, you get the best in class build quality from Triumph right in this street twin. Triumph's reputation for building a well put together motorcycle is not betrayed in one of their least expensive offerings. The brake lever, the gear lever and the brake pedal are very sturdily mounted. This nice detailed aluminium brush design gives it a very clean and classy look. Along with that, these round mirrors, the upswept 2 into 2 exhaust and the fork gators all nod towards a very retro style. The instrument cluster is a pretty straightforward single dial setup. But don't think for a minute that it is some prehistoric speedometer that only displays your speed. This bike is filled with some really handy tech like switchable driver modes, variable traction control and ABS. You get two rider modes, road and rain, which vary the amount of power and your ABS setting for optimum traction and safety. The Street Twin comes equipped with KYB 41mm forks up front and KYB Twin RSUs at the back for a butter smooth ride. But beware that the forks and the ground clearance aren't too forgiving on speed breakers, so this thing will bottom out. 
Do many of you think that the GT twins might actually kill something like this, a purebred? If you think that way, please let us know in the comments down below. Please subscribe to our channel, uh, follow us on Instagram and we also have a website and a magazine that you can look at. Uh, this is your boy Tanai after a really long time and I'll see you in the next one.